There it goes. There goes the fucking moon. I, I legit can't even catch this thing. So we're out here looking for Raxla, the legendary planet or something that's out here maybe somewhere that might exist. Here we have two planets, each of their own ring systems, right next to each other. Now, I don't think this is what Raxla is supposed to be. It certainly isn't an intergalactic portal or anything. But who knows what you might find lurking around here. Honestly, I'm surprised FDev didn't just delete this because it was so cool looking. Let's go look at the rings a little closer. Hmm, there's quite a lot of rocks in this ring system, but there also might be an intergalactic portal called Raxla, so we have to check it out. I said we'd check everywhere, didn't I? As always, guys, you have to help me find this thing. There's, uh, like two or three dozen rocks here, and it's gonna take a while for me to look through them all alone. So keep your eyes peeled. Or if you see any vultures out here looking for revenge. Now, this is a weird-looking rock. It looks like a face. Like a Halloween face on there. Do you see what I'm talking about? Nope, oh, something's scanning me. I ignore that. Wow, what an interesting looking stone. I'm almost convinced it isn't Raxla though. There's the guy who scanned me, the dick. Oh, hoo, 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 wow, wow. Taking a screeny of that boy. Look at that view, and that's a place I can visit. I can visit that ring system, that planet, that sun. It's all there. It's virtual, but it represents things in reality, you know? There are countless sunsets that probably look just like this, and this game enables us to kind of see it a little bit. I guess the sun's rising in this case, not setting, but it's more of an eclipse than anything else, but you know what I mean. You see, this is the kind of stuff you get to experience when you're looking for Raxla, even though Raxla probably doesn't exist. And I have a sweet new desktop background, boys. The real Raxla was the desktop backgrounds we made along the way. Let us go searching the rest of these rocks for this legendary whatever it is that we're looking for. Oh, Raxla! Leave in the comments if you think you know what the Raxla call signal should be, or is. I don't think it's like a duck call, but it could be for all I know. Well, I feel like I've searched probably at least 99% of this, so let's take off. Elite Dangerous. Well, we might as well go in for a landing, see if we can't get another good view. I mean, another good Raxla search going on here. This should be a good spot for our archeological dig site, right? and not just stargazing. We'll do the bounce thing. Come on, do, do a little bit of a rock. Land, come on. <laughs> Fine, fuck you. This is why you have shields, boys. This is why even explorers need shields. I don't understand why it's not connecting no matter which way I rock. It says I'm even. Okay, so the right-hand side ones aren't as down as the left-hand side ones. Or sorry, starboard. So I'll rock that way. And it's not working, so fuck it. Come on, what's wrong with this fucking planet? There we go, Jesus Christ. This is one of the easier ships to land too, my god. Let's poop out in a little SRV here. Look at that not Raxla going on up there. This place's gravity is really easy to drive on, I'm not gonna lie. It's like 1.0. I can still boost pretty good despite having Earth's gravity. And I still can't see any sign of any ancient ruins or portals. God, it's like it's just a regular planet. The next place to check is Mitterrand Hollow, which is a moon of New Africa, where I hear they bless the rains. Someone told me this moon, Mitterrand Hollow, might have some special secrets that help propel it, whatever that means. But I guess that means we have to go put our eyes on it. I can already see New Africa. Mitterrand Hollow is that object circling it there to the left. That seems to be moving pretty fast. That's moving hella fast. Wait. <laughs> How was it not in its own super cruise at that speed? What the hell? This is the naked eye. This is real time. Look at that moon go. It's trucking. You'd think it hit escape velocity. How was it still in orbit? The fuck? It should probably like slingshot in the like dark space. All right, we have to somehow catch and land on that. Here's something else that I'm surprised FDev hasn't deemed too cool to exist and removed. All right, boys, are you ready? The anticipation, dude. Raxla could be powering this thing. Oh, God damn it! Really? <laughs> right now? Oh, we're gonna crash into the moon! I'm just gonna fucking... Stupid NPC pirates. There it goes. There goes the fucking moon. At least I avoided crashing into it. Let this guy scam me and get the hell out of here. Ooh, if I had weapons on board, boys. Come on, bro! Scan me, bro! Come on, you python! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, can't scan me! 
Can't scan me. Fucking cuck. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> yeah. Toro, Toro, and all that. I'm right here. I'm a helpless little ass. You wanted to scam me, right? I wonder how long I can keep this up. He has tried to scam me like five times already. You can do it. You can do it. Nope. Honestly, I could do this all day. Keep fucking with this stupid NPC. Sorry, boy. No synthetic meat on board. You're gonna have to go hungry. Look at that. Look at how many times he's tried to scam me. <sighs> God damn. Alright, I'm done playing with him. Let's go. We got a moon to catch. And it is so weird that I'm saying that. Entering conflict zone. Oh, yeah, there it goes. With all the zones attached to it. Alright, I kind of don't want to crash into it head first. So let's try to come up the rear. <laughs> God. Another thing I can't believe I'm saying. Let's come up the rear and also come up behind this moon, too. God, the gravity in New Africa is not letting me speed up enough here. Come here. Come on. I, I legit can't even catch this thing. I'm going what, 900 kilometers a second and it is outspeeding me. I'm even trying to cut corners here. The more I cut the corner, the closer I get to the planet and the more its gravity well weighs on me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... I, do, I literally cannot catch this fucking fucking moon. All right, I guess we're going to have to let it catch us. Just go to its orbital line here. Hopefully we don't get interdicted again by another asshole. God, this is kind of scary, actually. Knowing this moon is going to pelt me in the face. I wonder how this is going to work. All right, here, here it comes. Oh, God, is it scary. Oh, God, is this scary, boys. Here it is. Here's the moon. Here it comes. Yeah, figures. Well, it's caught me. <laughs> it's dragging me around. And it blew out my FSD. Because I had to emergency stop. Well, I am now caught in its instance, its gravity. I don't know what you even want to call this. And now it's nighttime. The planet has eclipsed the star. I don't think we're going to be able to reach the surface anytime this way, so we're going to charge our FSD while facing it, boys. And now it's daytime again. We should still be in its, yeah, we're in its orbital instance, so we should be able to go to the surface as if this is a normal situation, which it very much isn't, but where should we land? I want to go for that big mountain over there. There's the moon, boys, and there's New Africa. And I cannot find a landing spot anywhere in this mountain range. I have been looking forever and have my night vision on because it keeps becoming nighttime as I'm trying to land. I'm going to try a couple more summits here, then I'm going to give up and fly out of this mountain range. Any blue indications at all? Any? And there's the horizon of the uh, New Africa, which I've seen several times already while trying to find a place to land. And it's nighttime. And it's daytime again. Alright, finally found a spot. Turn off you boys. Let's crap out in our SRV. Everything's better when you're in an SRV. God, look at the speed at which that planet zooms by us. <laughs> it's nighttime. Like a snap of the fingers and it's nighttime. Wouldn't it be scary if things came out at night on this moon? There's New Africa. And boom, just like that, it is daytime. <laughs> Looks like there's quite a population on New Africa. It's actually a pretty heavily populated system. I can only imagine that they've already studied the crap out of this moon. No uh, Raxla's been found. Okay, let's see if we can escape the moon without it chasing us and hitting us again. This will be interesting. Come on, let's go. At what point are we going to uh, escape the uh, moon's sphere of influence and shoot away from it? Oh god, there's New Africa. Hello, motherfucker. Oh my god, am I going to shoot away from the moon and suddenly fly straight into New Africa? Come on, pass. Pass, New Africa. Come on. Oh god. I'm going to fly straight into that goddamn planet, aren't I? Oh. There's its orbital line. I think we might be in the clear, boys. It's gonna happen. Oh, 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 there it goes. <laughs> Goodbye, moon. Ah! All right, I think we're on a safe trajectory. There's the, there's a Midrand Hollow. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, here we are in Seoul. Some people think Raxla is on Triton. Ooh. Well, let's go find out. That's only 14,000 light seconds away, for fuck's sake. The reason they think it's on Triton is because it's permit-locked. And really, that's the only reason. Triton is occupied by human population already. So I don't I don't know if I believe that theory. But I guess they think Raxla is something that humanity is keeping secret on Triton. Or some weird made-up lore. That defeats the whole purpose of Raxla. Or why the Dark Wheel is trying to find it. Or But whatever, we're going to go. We're going to go look. We're going to go uh, get our eyeballs on it. We can't land there because we don't have a permit. You know, And there is no permit to get for it. My favorite planet, Neptune 
is its host planet. So we're flying all the way out to Neptune, basically. Hopefully this moon doesn't flee from us. I've already scanned Triton. Let's see if there's any locations it uncovers. Permit required. Nope, those are all associated with Neptune. So, scanning Triton reveals nothing. You know, it's just a nicey rock. It does have an interesting color scheme to it, though. It'd be cool if they, like, discovered Guardian ruins on it, you know? And that might be why they locked it down, because they don't want people to know the truth about the Guardians. It's just a classified military outpost, and it has no permit to get. But here's what we're going to do, guys. So we're going to go to the furthest object in the solar system, and we're going to go get our paws on it. Ring, ring! Who's that? Oh, it's just the Persephone. I thought of that joke the whole way over here, guys. Okay, now, this thing's bigger than Earth, and I'm shooting past it even though I full braked at 7. But uh, I guess I was going super duper fast because I accelerated the whole way here. Is my ship going to slow down any time this goddamn century? All right, you are landable, bitch. There's geological signals on this bad boy. Probably ice geysers or something. It's not like screaming high gravity, but it is... High gravity, so we're gonna take this like professionals. It's more massive than Earth, so isn't this a planet already? Isn't this technically a planet? This might be planet number nine. I'm surprised so much light reaches here, actually. Can't even tell you which one's Sol. All right, I like that. We're gonna have to go with this. Okay, I can't just accelerate mindlessly toward the surface when it has, you know, almost two times gravity. Did I kill my engines at the perfect time? Wow, that was perfect. How you like them apples, boys? Here we are, the most distal object in our solar system and it's dark and it's cold i know the big surprises huh why can't i move all right i know it's two times gravity but this is kind of silly what the hell i've driven on super g and it wasn't like this a combination of the ice and the get up there get up there guys i drove on super g and it was not this hard I have four wheel drive on this thing or whatever, eight-wheel drive, how many wheels this thing has. Nah, stop! Control yourself! I'll zigzag up there. I'll do tacking, okay? Even when I'm, like, not going uphill, it's like, um, I have my handbrake on and I'm still sliding backwards. Scan it, scan it, scan it! Oh, shit, oh! Guys are, oh, fuck! Well, driving on this planet is not fun, or object. I don't even... First of all, I'm gonna look at what the this is. It's an icy world, right? Mass is almost 10 times that of Earth's. Radius, 14 kilometers. Earth's radius is about 6,000 kilometers-ish. So it, this is definitely way bigger than Earth. Okay, a planet is a celestial body that orbits a sun, has sufficient mass for its self-gravity to overcome rigid body forces so that it assumes a nearly round shape, and it has cleared its neighborhood around its orbit. It meets all those criteria. This is Elite Dangerous's universe's answer to the planet number nine theory. Oh, and it says right there, planet. You have mapped this planet. Okay. Yeah, it calls Triton a planet, so take too much stock in what it says there. Let's get back on our ship. So there's nothing here that makes you think this is Raxla. It's just planet nine. So there goes my theory that the undiscovered planet nine must be Raxla. But I'm not going to be dissuaded that easily. See you, planet nine. I'm going to put Earth to our... But there we go. And now we're just going to head straight out. You heard me right. We're going to head straight out and see if we run into Raxla, boys. What's that? What's that? The hell? The oh, fuck? Do I have the... <laughs> Do I have the gas for this? Ancient probe? Is this Voyager? Here we go. Let's go find this ancient probe. I bet you anything it's Voyager. All right. We're approaching the ancient probe. It's been, um, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. I don't really know. And I think this is probably Voyager. So I vaguely remember hearing that it's in the game. It's just weird how I found it this way. Look at your acceleration when you're this far out. Wow. You go up to 1,000 times the speed of light in a flash. Voyager 2. Hey, Voyager 2, did you ever find Raxla out here? You'd, you'd know it if you saw it, right? This isn't just a video game anymore, guys. This is really out there. Oh, and there it is. The golden disc. Of all the details, look at that. Did a good job on that. Look at it shine. How close will it let me get? This is probably the closest I can get. Yep, I'm going to leave you to it, Voyager. Before we go too far, I want to see how far we are from Earth right now. It's 2,069,000 light seconds away. We're going to slow down and we're going to act activate the FSS again. It's just completely empty space. And I don't care. We're going to fly out there anyways. All right, guys. It looks like Raxla 
isn't in Seoul. Okay, the time has come to shout out my patrons. Those who are making this search for Raxla possible. We have the recruits for our voyage, including Joe Osborne, the Smooth Hippo, Blood Bupture, and Tim Shortman. Then we have still so far our only cadet, Glintline, and our three epic wing commanders, Frio, Hamfisted, and Commander Roy Cookson. If you would like to support my channel using Patreon, you can find a link to my Patreon account in the description. And if you are a patron of mine, feel free to send me a message any time let me know what you'd like to see in a video or how you'd like me to shout you out and of course if you have any Raxla hints but that goes for all of you viewers leave comments in the description if you think you know where Raxla is or a place you'd like me to check out oh and if for some reason you're interested in anything Pokemon a close personal friend of mine has started a Pokemon anime review channel his channel goes by Gonzer and it would just be so classic if a bunch of you went to his latest video or something and just randomly commented there his freaking Magikarp goes to space legit jump into space its eyes go like he's freaking dying and he never comes back <laughs> thank you for all of your support and until next time cadets